The following video is taken from a Udemy video course that teaches Spring Cloud and microservices from the very beginning. If you're just starting with Spring Boot microservices and Spring Cloud and you need a step-by-step -step guidance, then this video course is exactly what you're looking for. The link to a video course and to other Spring Cloud tutorials you'll find in the description to this video. And I hope you will find it helpful. In this video, you will learn how to generate a keeper file which will be used for asymmetric encryption. And asymmetric encryption is a more superior way of encryption and it requires us to generate a keeper file, which we are going to do in this video. And this keeper file will contain uh, a pair of keys. It will contain public and a private key. The public key will be used to encrypt information and private key will be used to decrypt information. To generate this keeper file, we will need to use a key tool utility which comes with a GDK and I will bring in a text file which contains command that we will need to type in the terminal window. So in the terminal window we will need to type key tool and then dash gen key pair and then dash alias and provide an alias for our key store file. And then we will need to continue with dash and then key aug the algorithm which is going to be used RSA and uh, then we'll need to provide a distinguished name uh, which contains all of this information which comes in the quotes. So we have opening quotes and closing quotes here. And inside of these quotes, we will have a common name which can be any value. I provided my name since I'm creating this key store file. And then organizational unit for example, a development department or product development department. I provided API development department. So it's up to you which organizational you need to provide here. Then we have O for organization. It can be organization name or organization domain. So I provided a domain name of my blog, appsdeveloperblog.com. And then a locality, a locality name. It can be a city, for example. So I've provided uh, a city, Ottawa. Then we have state name. As a state, I provided Ontario, which is in Canada, and C stands for country. So here you can provide a country on which this state is located. I provided Canada. And then we have key pass, and this is a password under which the private and secret key identified by alias is protected. And then we have uh, the key store, the name of the key store file which we are going to generate. It can be any name. Basically, this is the name of the file that will contain uh, private and public keys. And then we have a store pass. And this is the password which is used to protect the integrity of the key store file. Both passwords need to be at least six characters long. The more secure these passwords are, the better. But while learning and practicing, you can come up with a simpler password. And in my case, I provided same password for both of these parameters so that I do not get confused. All right, so what I need to do, I need to copy this and then I will paste it into a terminal window. I will bring in a terminal window and I will check the location where I am. I am on the desktop in the folder called dev. So I will paste this line here and I will hit enter to generate this key store file. Here we go. The file is generated, but we got a warning that the GKS key store uses a proprietary format. It is recommended to migrate to PKEY CS12, which is an industry standard format using the following syntaxes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply copy everything which is in codes because it already contains the information I need to provide. It contains the name of my file, API encryption key, and I don't need to change anything here. So I'll copy this and I will simply paste it and hit enter. And here we go. Now it wants me to provide the key store password which I used when running the key tool command initially. So the password that I used is 1Q and then 2W3E4R. 2W3E4R and hit enter. And it says entry for the alias successfully imported. And we have a message that uh, we have migrated 
successfully and a key store backup file was created for us with this name. I will list all files that match API and asterisk and I have two files. One file is a key store file that contains the private and public keys and the other one is a backup file which we generated with the first initial command. Alright, so what I need to do now, I need to use this file to enable my Spring Cloud config to encrypt and decrypt information and we will do it in the following video.